It's time for Truth or Fake. Uh, Catalina is by the big board with uh, a special edition, a fake report uh, purporting to be in the um, quality uh, newspaper here in France, Le Figaro, uh, which targets our very own France 24's uh, observers team. Catalina, tell us more about this. That's right, Mark. Here's a, the fake report by Le Figaro that's been circulating on X since October 21st. It's already been viewed over 33,000 times and shared over 1,000 times on X, where Le Figaro allegedly reports that our observers team here at France 24 investigated and concluded that the photos of burned babies shared uh, by the Israeli government on X were fake. So uh, just a little reminder to our uh, viewers, this is a tweet that this fake report is referring to, uh, tweeted from the official account of the Prime Minister of Israel on X, where they show the horrifying of photos of babies murdered and burned by Hamas. So we're going to analyze the main fake claims made by uh, this uh, fake report. Let's begin by fake claim number one, uh, where they say that they allegedly came uh, to this conclusion after studying the metadata of 80% of photos of burned bodies on a Twitter and found that the images shared by the Prime Minister of Israel on X uh, were actually taken before October 2023. So fake claim number one in particular, uh, they say uh, that the photos of uh, burned babies uh, published by Benjamin Netanyahu were actually taken uh, by special services in 2016 in Haifa, Israel, following the 2016 Haifa fires in northern Israel. So photos that they say are now used by Israel uh, to show fake proof of atrocities committed by Hamas. Right. So what are the elements that uh, we should be looking for to see uh, the fakery about these uh, claims? These uh, type of fake reports imitating the news, Western news, are more and more a common characteristic of Russian propaganda. If you ever have a doubt, uh, the first place uh, you have to look at is always the profile of the account sharing uh, this fake information, since they might be bots. And uh, the account sharing uh, this fake report has every indication of being a bot, so we tell you why. First of all, uh, check when this account joined uh, Twitter or X. This account joined on October 2023, so just recently, uh, right during the time that the conflict between Hamas and Israel uh, began. Uh, then check the followers. This, fo this uh, page is following 53 people and it has zero people following it. This is following zero users, so little to no engagement. Then uh, this, uh, f uh, this user also has a no profile picture and it's also important to check the name, uh, Abby A11676. Uh, uh, so names with numbers on them like these are actually automated accounts that never set an actual username. So this account is highly suspicious. Also, take a look at this account of followers. If you take a look at their followers, you can see that they're uh, very similar to user Abby A11676 with no profile pictures and names followed by five uh, to six numbers as well. So as we said, accounts with automated user names. Uh, then if we take a look at this account's activity, the only post it has is the post of this fake report by Le Figaro on October 21st a report that, as we said, has been widely shared, uh, but as you can see, it only has eight comments on it. So, uh, so 1,000 shares for eight comments. So this is very rare, another indicator of highly suspicious activity, indicating that this video is probably shared by bots. Uh, then the comment section is always uh, very important. You could always start by that. This is where we found uh, this first comment made by Le Figaro, uh, by Le Figaro journalist claiming that this uh, video is a fake. Also, he says something very important on social media, only trust uh, videos, text, images, and articles published by certified accounts. Indeed, sound advice from Jean-Baptiste of Le Figaro there. Now, X, formerly known as Twitter, has become very much the kind of epicenter, I suppose, now for misinformation, disinformation. Uh, is it fair to say Elon Musk, who bought Twitter, of course, hasn't maybe been doing enough to tackle this issue? Or am I being harsh on Elon Musk? Well, Mark, it's not only you. The EU also found X, formerly known as Twitter, to have the highest rate of disinformation amongst all social media platforms out there. As following these uh, terrorist attacks by Hamas on Israel, Thierry Breton, uh, European commissioner, posted that the EU found indications 
uh, that X is being used to disseminate illegal uh, content and disinformation in the EU, sending this urgent petition uh, to Elon Musk to sign on policies that would help fight disinformation on X, uh, a petition that Elon Musk doesn't uh, seem, uh, well, does not seem will uh, comply with anytime soon, as Insider reports on October 19th that Elon Musk is considering removing X from Europe over EU laws, so a white flag that does not seem uh, will be waved on either side. Mark. Catalina, thank you for sorting out the truth from the fake for us. Catalina marshall Debra though, with uh, that uh, disproving session of that uh, sequence uh, of tweets. Stay with us, we've got much more to come. Live from Paris.